All right. That was pretty good. Welcome to another IndieSoft Tip Tuesday. We've had a Wayne's World theme. I'm Garth. I'm Henry. I'm Chuck. Today we're going to be talking about the print server. I know a lot of folks missed the webinar last week. And unfortunately, with that, they missed uh, a pretty cool feature that we've added, the IndieSoft print server. Yes. So uh, we're going to go over that just for a review for you guys that missed it. And also, we'd like to throw in a plug. Heather put us up to this. We have a new webinar coming out on the 19th of February. So make sure you clear your calendar so you're ready for that. Can I say one thing? Yes. Who would want to use the print server? I'm going to tell you who. A couple of people. But primarily... Web tier users who don't want to do local installs on all of their individual users' workstations. So let's say you have an internal organization, right? And you're using web tier. Well, the only way to print locally to servers before the print server was to install web tier tools. Well, the thing about that is that takes away some of your convenience for not having to do local installs. So this way, we can actually set up a print server on the network, right, Chuck? Yep. And we can point to those printers that are assigned and made through uh, the actual print server. It allows you to not have any kind of local installations outside of the print server, that is. Right. So essentially how we accomplish this is the print server lives on its own machine, or it could live on the same server that the database is on, and it has its own database settings. It points to the database the same way you would set up your client. So I have both side by side here to to show that we have them pointing at the same database. And essentially, what that allows you to do is once it's installed, you can set up printers that are on that network. So if, for example, we have this set up in uh, the Charleston office, in the Chuck office. We can add printers here that are visible on my local network. And then users that are on web tier can view these printers in their user location settings, even if they're not connected to the same network. So here, let's go ahead and add brother. This is going to be our main document printer, and we'll name this certs. It's a good name. Yeah, it's used for certs, so let's go ahead and add that. You hit OK to confirm the settings. And then we also have a web tier set up right here. And once we reload and open up user location, we will see our new printer with the prefix and the printer name. So printer one, we want it to be Chuck's office certs. That's our printer that we just added. So if we save and close, double check that our vent is using printer one that we just set. We can then run an event and it will print to that printer. It's pretty simple to set up. And then we'll open up the queue. There goes the cert. It's in the printer queue. Boom. Boom. It clears it out. And now it's in my printer. So since I am still technically on my local network, I can see it pop up in the printer queue, even though I'm sending it through the web tier. So you can't tell because you're not in the office, but. We did just have the document print. So again, you got individual technicians out in the field. Maybe this isn't as useful for you. You're going out there. They have their own actual uh, printers out there. Maybe you don't want to use it for them because they can just use the web tier tools. But if you have multi, uh, m multiple facilities where you have n a number of people, rather than installing um, the actual um, tools everywhere, you can actually install print servers at your location A. Maybe one of you is in Chicago, maybe the other facility is in Philadelphia. You can set up a print server at each location and then be able to print from either location anywhere you want. It basically hooks right. it up to the database. You can see any locations as long as you're connected to the database. So if Ben, our guy in Atlanta, were to add his own printers onto the same database, I would be able to see them over this uh, user location settings as you know, Ben's office, and then whatever he named his printers. And he would be able to see mine. So it's really useful for people who have multiple locations or just one big location where multiple people will be using the same right. printers. Exactly. Well, okay. 
yeah, I hope this was informative for you guys. Uh, check out the webinar. We have a ton of new features. This is barely just scratching the surface of version 12. And uh, we hope to see you next week. See you at the webinar. Till next time. Happy calibrating. <laughs>